Hi guys, so welcome to my bathroom. I thought it was a very fitting place to do this review, plus I thought I may need the sink if it gets too messy. Today I wanted to do a review, I haven't done a review in a while I thought, and um, I went into Poundland because I saw that Poundland was bringing out some celebrity endorsed ranges with two celebrities, one for men, one for women. Didn't see the women's one actually. And I saw the men's one, which was from, this is one of the products. I brought all the products but one of them because they didn't have one of them. And I thought the thing I bought was part of it, but it's not. Um, Mario Falcone. I'd never heard of that person before, being honest. And I googled him just before this video and he's from Taui. So make of that what you will. If you love Taui, you love Taui. I've never watched it. So today I'm going to just run through the products, give a little bit of a test on some of them. Some of them I can't test. And then final thoughts. So I'll start with the thing that's in my hand and it is hairspray. And it looks like this, you get 200 mils and it's one pound. He's got two body washes in his collection. Um, they don't have, do they have names? They don't have names, but it's the gold one and the black one. Again, pound each. To go along with the hairspray, he's got a wet look styling gel. This is 150 mils, again, a pound. And then two body sprays, again, one in gold, one in black. So I guess all the gold stuff smells the same and all the black stuff sells, smells the same. Again, one pound each. Then he's also got a fragrance, but I didn't pick that up because mine didn't have it. It only had like, it had a whole shelf full of these products. Then they have a little separate other thing for like fragrances, but they didn't have that there. I picked up this one though instead because I thought the branding was nearly the same and I thought it was what the same thing is. But then going on Primark, not Primark, Poundland's um, in Twitter, um, this isn't it. So, sorry about that, but this is a Eau de Toilette, 100 mils for one pound. Major proper review of that in a separate video. So, what I'm gonna do is like do a little test. I think I'm gonna test the body sprays first because that's like the easiest thing, don't you think? So this is the black one. I'm just gonna spray a bit on my wrist. I haven't got anything on. It says, Use as directed. Use only as directed. Spray the can 15 centimetres away from body and spray. Ooh, that reminds me of my brother in his teens. <laughs> like, very lengthy. It's quite masculine, but like, it reminds me of my brother in his, like, teens. So, I don't know what my brother wore in his teens, but it wasn't that. And then this is the gold one. I can't really smell anything. Oh, now I can. Again, this, like, reminds me of PE and, like, gym. Like, when Everyone in the class would oh, have sprayed loads on my wrist and didn't smell like that. Actually, no, this reminds me of the hotel I stayed in in Valencia. I don't know why, but it also reminds me of... Um, reminds me of... Like, school changing rooms as well. So I guess all the range in those different colours smells like that. Body washes I aren't going to try out. Oh, is it like sealed? That's weird. To take the sealant off somehow. Don't want them using that product in Poundland. You know how rowdy it gets. My hands are like black. Where, how, why are they black? <laughs> Luckily I've got scissors, so we're going to cut somehow into this. There we go. I mean, you need to protect it. We've all got that on. So this is the gold one, so I'm expecting it to smell like the other gold one. Okay. I don't actually smell anything. 
You know when you open a shower gel, it smells like this? I'm like literally putting some on my hand and lathering it up. Can't smell it. And I've just, I've just broken the lid by not doing anything. Good! Doesn't smell. I have another bloody, oh this one has this got a tear pull on it. I love those, don't you bloody love those? Right, I'm expecting this one to smell like the black one, but I don't have high hopes from what I smell on the other thing. Again, I've already broken the lid. And I've literally, well it's not, can you see, like, it's not, yeah. I like the packaging, but, again, I can't s I literally can't smell anything. I'm, am I stupid? Am I stupid? Look, look how much I've put on my hand. And I've just got it on my nose, but I cannot smell anything. And I'm now gonna have to wash this off. Next, we're gonna move on to the Wet Look Styling Gel. I'm gonna attempt to put it in my hair. <laughs> Again, with the um, sealant packaging. Right, I'm expecting this to smell like the black ones, which I cannot remember what they smell like because the shower gel didn't smell. Again. No, no scent, really. So, directions. Use on dry or damp hair, I've got dry, squeeze gel into palm of hand, why am I reading it like that? <laughs> squeeze gel into palm of hand and massage into hair, leave to dry or style as normal. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this a go. I'm not, I've got my product from yesterday in my hair. Um, again, the packaging, it's like, like a normal, a normal lid would not do this, would it? I don't know. I don't really buy stuff in Poundland, so sorry if that's what you're used to. It doesn't say how much. Caution, keep away from eyes and broken skin. Is it going to irritate? Um, I honestly do not use gel. I use clay, and I would have liked a clay, but I don't know what he uses on his hair or what really he looks like. So, um, it looks like this. It's a gel consistency. I might have to wash my hair after this. It's actually, this one does have a scent, but it doesn't smell like either of the other two, like the actual body sprays. It doesn't, it has like a non-existent scent, but a scent, if that makes any sense. I can't just tell myself. I'm going to look in the mirror and see if I can do anything with this. Okay, that's just putting a little bit in, but my hair is so thick. Gel doesn't really... If I want to do like a slip back look, like I've never done that because I'm so scared of what it would look like because my hair is literally the thickest in the world. Um, but... What has that done? Nothing. It's not... Oh, okay. It doesn't look as bad. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Um, this is like, I do messy hair, that's like my thing. Like, having that in my hair, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna give amazing hold. What does it say? It just says wet look. I mean, let's, let's put more on. Let's literally, let's go, go for it. Yeah, only a pound, right? In for a penny, in for a pound. My hair is gonna be awful. Um, okay, it looks wet now, and now I look like Harrison from The Apprentice. Should we put more on and see what happens? I mean, it looks wet now, and that's using a lot, though. That's more than I would. Well, to be honest, I don't use gel, so, um, I don't know how much I'm meant to use. Um, but clay, I would never use this much product in my hair. I mean, I haven't really got the type of hair that I could slick back. I mean, this just looks ridiculous on me. Um, because my hair, I don't normally wear my hair like this, so it doesn't actually go like this. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what I've done, and it definitely does what it says on the tin, it's wet look. But I had to use quite a lot of that, so I feel like you would go through it quickly. I actually don't mind it not having a smell. I kind of like that. And I have to say, it did not leave my hands sticky afterwards, and it doesn't have the same consistency as, what well, 
gels that my brother used to use when he was a teen to literally spike his hair. Like he doesn't have that same consistency because I remember like trying to use some of that on my hair when I was like a teenager. But I mean that doesn't look too bad, does it? Anyway, I don't really like wet look hair, I've never really done that. But this, we're gonna lock it all into place um, with the hairspray. So this is use only as directed again. Does this, is that what this says on here? No, it doesn't. So it says, protect eyes when applying. Do not use near or place or, or place on polished or painted surfaces. What do you mean place? Like, I can't put this on something. So intentional misuse by deliberately, that's not really a direction. Oh, instructions are underneath. Shape well before use. Spray evenly over finished hairstyle holding Holding can twelve holding can I can't read. Holding can twelve inches, thirty centimeters from hair. It doesn't say how long it's gonna hold for, but um I really don't like the writing on the back. It doesn't really it's not consistent with the theme and it I feel like I don't know if a font can feel like this, but a font feels cheap. So um let's spray, let's spray it first. Spray it into the cap. Oh, this, this smells like generic, like Weller hair, Weller or Boots brand hairspray. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to really test this because I'm not going to like come back. It's very light though. I'm not really going to do a check-in because I really want to just wash my hair. Right, let's leave that to dry and see what happens. I look really odd because I never wear my hair like this. So the hairspray doesn't actually smell of anything, which I actually don't mind because I don't really like my hair products to smell of anything because I've had the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Eye Styler Texture Clay before, which I still have somewhere. It's in the orange one and that smells so fruity and citrus that I just really don't like using that and it's really sticky and really holds forever. But I'm gonna leave my hair for a bit and we'll come back. So, I'm back. Um, so, it's been about five mins and that's you, well like when I use, um, my favourite hairspray is Fish Sticks by Fish, and uh, I think that's what it's called, is it? Whatever the... I'm not sure it is actually called that. The Fish Hairspray, anyway. Um, when I use that, it goes a bit, a little bit crunchy, which I kind of like because then I feel like it's in hold, but, I mean, like, this doesn't really feel any different, and it feels so wet. Ugh. Um, like, I like to be able to do that with my hair, so this really isn't a product for me because it's not really the look I go for. But I mean, apart from, don't, I just do it really quickly, so let's not worry about the back. If you're going for this look, it's kind of good. I don't know if he has his hair like this, but like, it's not really holding. And it just feels like there's not much, I put a lot on and it just feels like not much is there. So don't mind my hair, this is actually after I filmed the video because I wanted to get that stuff out of my hair. Um, hairspray actually held quite well. Um, after I finished it had gone a bit crispy, so it was quite crispy actually, you couldn't run your hands through it or anything. And um, do not look at my hair, God. Um, so yeah, it does have some hold to it. So it's very light. Um, like, you could spray forever, but um, it does have some hold, so, yeah. And can we just talk about how, you know, I put body spray on earlier, it's kind of not really there anymore. So, um, so let me give you a rundown of my final thoughts. So the, in terms of packaging, I really, I do really like the packaging. It's fairly, like, classy, if you will, there's not too much, like, I don't know, it's just simple, which I do really like. I like the black and gold. Um, the cheapness comes in when it's like white on the back and stuff, but just ignore that. And I don't like the font of like the stuff on the white, but we can just move on from that. Um, so yeah, I do. Oh no, it does, this one does have a name. I didn't, I just realized that. Black ones have a name called, I don't know how to just, um, say that. Uno. This, the gold one doesn't, so that must be like original, this is like 
black, whatever that word means, or it says. Um, yeah, um, the, so packaging of all the products I think is really nice. It is a, so the packaging, packaging design of the products I think is really nice. Execution of the packaging, somewhat not. Um, especially with the products that have these type of lids. Like, I've broken this one already. Like, it's broke. And I literally just opened it. Hello, can, can you not do that? So, there's that, but yeah. And can you see how this is off center? That really annoys me, look at that. It's like not in the center of this product. Is it with this one? It, this one is slightly off as well, that quite, this one is slightly off. This one is more noticeably off. It might be more noticeably off because it's on gold packaging, whereas this is on black, but that annoys me. Um, and you know, I said how this one was broken. It's not just that one. So this one isn't fully broken, but it's gonna, it's gonna break. Don't worry. It's, it's gonna break because it's like literally hanging on by threads. And same with the styling gel as well. All the ones that come in squeezy tubes, the lids are gonna break and like, that's not fun. Price point, obviously really good. Everything is a pound. You can't really get products, apart from if you go to Poundland and stuff. Like, look, this, I think the packaging does look nice. Execution of it isn't great, but ones that look, they look like a little bit premium. Does look nice. Okay, scents. Scents are only really prominent in the body sprays. I couldn't smell anything, anything from the shower gels and you saw how much I put on my hand. Like when you open a shower gel, I expect a scent to come out. I expect a scent to hit me in the face, whereas nothing, just nothing comes out of these. So shower gel scents, not great because they don't smell. Body sprays, they're very like... I don't know really what the demographic of this range is, but I'm guessing like teens age, because it's like made, not made in Chelsea, the other one, Howie. Um, so it is kind of a younger scent, but the packaging looks premium-ish. Um, Lasting power, as I said, I did spray like a hefty amount of one of these on my arm, and can't smell it anymore. But body sprays tend to be lacklustre, don't they, in their lasting power? Is that the right word? In terms of the hair products, the wet look gel is good if that's what you want from a wet look gel. No scent to it really, so it's unoffensive in that sense. I thought it was going to have the same scent as the black, not that the body wash had the black scent, but you get what I mean. Um, hairspray didn't really do much. I sprayed a lot for it not to do a lot, so there's that. If you like Mario, then you might want to buy these. They're really cheap, you're really not going to lose much money if you don't really like them. Like, the whole range is like seven quid in total. So, it's really affordable on that aspect. But, body washes don't really smell of anything. I haven't given them a go, so I don't know how well they clean. Because I'm very particular with my body washes. Like, only one particular brand works for me. Um, so, they might not be good in that respect. But if you want a body wash that smells, then don't buy these. Um, body sprays, maybe if you spray a lot, you're going to get that scent throughout the day, but you'll probably go through them quite quickly because you'll probably want to reapply them to get that scent. The scent is a bit young for me. Hairspray I wouldn't go for because it doesn't really hold. Wet look, styling gel, if you like that look, it does a good... I can't really compare it because I don't really have anything like this, but it gives the wet look, it does what it says on the tin. So. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, hope you enjoyed and yeah, follow me on my Instagram and also subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!